Here's a quick video on the little switch under the console that turns off the air conditioner when it detects a freezing situation in the evaporator. This little switch right here is what does it. It's got this capillary tube that goes into the evaporator and when this tube gets below freezing, it affects the pressures inside this little capillary tube and it breaks the continuity in this switch. Ordinarily, I'll pull these off, too easy. Through the magic of YouTube, they come right off. Um, normally, these two will be connected, meaning you'll have continuity between this one and this one. And if the evaporator starts freezing over, then it opens the signal. So if your air conditioner is not working and everything else checks out, this thing might be preventing your compressor from going on because, sorry, the wires that come into and out of this freeze over switch go directly to pin 30 of the air conditioner's relay. So if this is open, you're not gonna get power to the compressor. So now I'm gonna show you how to take it out. This is all on the side of the heater core console where the infamous heater clip breaks and all that stuff. And what you do is you start by taking this piece off. There's a little screw right here that holds it in place, but it's flimsy and easy to take off. So you get rid of that. And then it's really simple, actually. There's just two screws right Let's see if you can get them. Let's see if I can show them. That screw right there, and then there's another one right up there. And you just loosen them. You don't have to you don't have to remove them. You just loosen them a bit. And once again, through the magic of YouTube, it's super loose and ready to come out. So this thing just slides off, slides out of those little slots once the screws are loose. If I can get it off. Just like that. So now that's loose. Now, this capillary thing goes down into the evaporator. This little guy right here is just a grommet. It's rubber and it is slotted. So you can just pick it out and then find the slot and pull it off. Set that to the side. And then you can see how the capillary tube slides into a hole in the evaporator. Now watch this. I had to pull on it pretty hard to start with, but after I got it loose, see now it's already tight being in there. It just pulls out and it pulls all the way out. Like that. It's pretty long. It's probably, I don't know, nine, 10 inches long. And it does seem to go back in if you let it go back in. Find that little port, it just pushes in. Now, the only other thing I'd say is that I did check this electronically, and the two, the two electrical connectors right there do have continuity when it's sitting out in the shop like this. I tried putting the capillary in a glass of ice water and it did not open the circuit. And I think that that's just because it didn't get cold enough. Well, thanks to the comments in the original video, I've got a little bit of an update. This screw right here adjusts the sensitivity or the temperature at which this switch opens. So if you go all the way clockwise, it lowers the temperature at which this thing opens. And if you go, the more counterclockwise you go, the higher the temperature goes. So when you set it all the way like that, the temperature that this, will, this circuit will open is higher than before. So now, I'm going to put that to the diode setting so you can hear it. So now, when I put the probe in a glass of ice water, it opens the circuit. You can actually hear it click in there like a relay. 
Then when you take it out, it takes a few minutes for the probe to warm up. But there it is. Cold. Yep.